We would prefer people with real-world experience and academic proficiency in the core subjects they're teaching, English, math, science, not saying, oh, I, got a, I went to the School of Education somewhere and they taught me kind of how to teach because, you know, I've seen that and, and I've been very underwhelmed by it. And as I said, I think that that's really been a magnet uh, for, for a lot of ideology. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis seems dead set on dragging his state's public education system down in a race to the bottom as he makes clear his hate for folks that believe children deserve an education. Honestly, it's hard to tell if this guy really believes this stuff or if he's just spouting off what he thinks will resonate with the base. But the aim here is clear. He and his supporters think that people leading a classroom of students should not be teaching kids how to think, and as much as possible, the topics and materials they cover be limited to the narrow worldview of conservatives. Florida is currently starting the school year about 4,000 teachers short. The cause of this problem is clear. Teachers get paid far too little, and there's a growing lack of respect for their profession in this state run by anti-intellectuals. But this isn't by accident, and it's a two-pronged attack on public education, which is the means of class mobility and a chance of opportunity for millions of children. First, there's the obvious effect of limiting the curriculum and demoralizing and underfunding teachers. If kids can't think, then they're more susceptible to populist demagogues like DeSantis or Trump that play only to emotion since their policy platforms are mostly empty and certainly devoid of rational thought. The more people apply logic, they realize that minorities, immigrants, or transsexuals are not actually responsible for the fact that they can't afford health care, or the tax breaks only seem to go to their boss who hasn't given them a raise in 20 years. Watch DeSantis use this tactic as he pivots from education to just being a bully. Not saying, oh, I, got a, I went to the school of education somewhere and they taught me kind of how to teach because, you know, I've seen that and, and I've been very underwhelmed by it. And as I said, I think that that's really been a magnet uh, for, for a lot of ideology and at the end of the day if you look what's happening in our society um, you see institutions being infected with ideology at, at, at the expense of facts and reality and we're fighting this thing with the with the medical board because uh, they want to do sex change operations for minors a classic bait and switch don't worry about the fact that he's gutting public education teachers are turning your kids gay just leave it to Uncle Ronnie and we can all get back to suppressing our sexuality and bullying others like the good old days. But gutting public education is the point. They start by undermining the quality of education, and then they try to delegitimize and destroy the system as a whole. Once it's gone, then folks will be forced into whatever ideological hellhole system of private schools is left. The better the public education is, the better off people are, and the more likely they are to think for themselves and vote out people that seek to gain power while worsening the suffering of others. So give your teacher a raise, give your kids a hug, and support intellectual freedom in schools.